Let's get inspired. Summer doesn't officially start until a couple weeks, later June. But the kids are out of school. The temperatures are they're up there. A lot of us are already looking for some fun activities to add to our summer calendar. What are we going to do next week or the week after? Look who's here, Indy Maven, joining us with a few ideas. She's the founder, CEO, Leslie Bailey. Hi. Nice to see you. You too. I know. It's uh, summer. It's hot. I know. We always forget. Like, it's still spring, well, it but is, it's summer. But it feels right? like it. I mean, it's going to be 90 degrees. Right. So let's talk about things we can do and we're going to begin with music yes you can rock the ruins at holiday park again this summer so they're kicking off their concert series on june 24th with ben folds um, and they're sh adding new shows to their lineup regularly so you can check for updates at rocktheruins.com okay so five things to do this summer there's one we've got four more what's happening at uh, idol jorg idol jorg's doing an indian market and festival so they're going to have 140 artists from across the united states mm. and canada showcasing their wares at this market and festival June 24th and 25th so it's a celebration of native cultures but you can shop for jewelry pottery mm. paintings beadwork and more and then they'll also have some cultural performances music dancing storytelling and a lot of family art making activities mm. too so you can eat some fry bread and food from local vendors and bring the whole family hey so mark it down like have your calendar out it's okay this is something we're gonna do during this week yeah and here's what we can do the next week how about going to a farm. I always wonder like when, what different fruits are in and what yes. berries are in it when. Yeah, so I hesitate even saying this one because it is my favorite hidden gem. You don't want anyone I else to go. I don't want anyone to go to this, but I do <laughs> because it's wonderful. So it's just minutes outside of downtown Indianapolis. You can pick berries throughout the summer. It's a family owned business. It's called Driving Windberry Farm. And they're also kicking off a summer concert series um, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So I recommend following their Instagram. Mm. It's at Driving Windberry Farm for updates. They're constantly posting so that's yeah. when you know you know which berries yes. are in season they do a fall festival it's a great yeah. little spot they also have a cafe with oh so cute yeah. okay now the you know a hundred thousand other fans are gonna i know <laughs> you're like i'm trying to share the well <laughs> <laughs> all right and um Wine Festival. Wine Festival, right? We were just talked yeah. about National Wine Day, yeah. but this is an inaugural event, Uncork Me, Indiana Wine Festival at Military Park on June 24th. So tickets are $55, but that gets you access to the event, live entertainment from Baby mm. Grand, entertainment dueling pianos. Oh, you get a commemorative sampling glass and endless wine tasting from 3 to 7 p.m. And then finally, the Madam Walker Legacy Festival. Yeah, they've got a lot going on, but they're going to kick off the weekend with the Gladys Knight concert at the Madam Walker Legacy Fest, um, followed by a block party on June 17th, and then a Juneteenth brunch on June 18th. All right, so many great ideas, yeah. and we appreciate you. These are the five of their 50 things Indie Maven found to do this summer. If you want to see the full list, fox59.com slash links to check it all out. We're over here. I think. Anyway, Where hi, are we? hi, hi. We're, we're on the <laughs> it's red Friday. couch. Friday. It no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it feels like we've had some wine to drink, Jim. <laughs> what camera? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> All right, 914, guys. Hey, heading out.